Hi guys, so today before I start um, talking about sun gazing, I just wanted to talk to you about the food that you eat on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be meat or vegetables or plant-based or whatever label you'd like to give the food that you eat. Um, so whatever food you eat basically takes the majority of its energy from the sun. Um, if it's meat, obviously the animals out in the field, they're getting energy from the sun, they're eating grass, whether it's fruit, it's getting its energy from the sun and it's growing and it's because of the sun it's growing. So the sun is the predominant energy force on the planet. Um, so I started thinking to myself, if I'm fasting and, and I want to get some energy, why not cut out the middleman and just go straight to the source? So this is why sun gazing is probably the most important out of the energy exchanges that I use while I'm fasting. Um, especially when I'm hard dry fasting, which is no water as well. So what is sun gazing? Sun gazing is a ancient Egyptian Sumerian, around that sort of time, energy exchange where um, I personally prefer to do it standing on grass bare feet so that you're grounding and earthing like in the last video, if you watched that one, um, and staring directly into the sun. Now you've been told from a very, very young age, don't stare at the sun, you'll go blind. This is bollocks for starters but what i would say is when you first start doing this you need to ease your way into it so what i'd say is look into it yourself but for the first 22 minutes of the sun raising uh, first thing in the morning i think in the uk at the moment it's around 5 5 30 um, there's virtually no uv light so it's not damaging to your eyes and for the last 22 minutes of sundown so if you want to i'd say just practice at one of those 22 minutes even if you're just going to go 10 minutes and then gradually build your stamina up staring into it i mean i, I can stare into the sun at one o'clock in the afternoon in the midday now and uh, it doesn't affect me straight afterwards so you do build up a tolerance to it um, there's a lot of light language comes through in this as well so for those of you who do know about light language and light codes um, we've got a lot of unactivated DNA in our body. Um, scientists used to call it junk DNA, it's just sitting there unused, but there's a lot of things that can come through in this um, unactivated DNA. And I personally feel, and from what I've been shown, the way to activate this DNA is through light language. So the most amount of time you can spend, the more amount of time you can spend in the sun, the better. Um, yeah, so I'd advise definitely looking into and getting around to trying um, some sun gazing. Um, personally, I start first thing in the morning because the energy between the time of sunrise is very, very powerful. Um, the most powerful time, as I've spoken about before, is around 3.30 um, till around 6 o'clock in the morning. The energy levels are pretty profound then. Um, and then go on to maybe adding... 22 minutes in the evening if you feel that's 44 minutes a day that's plenty to get enough energy while you're not eating any food um, and then you can start playing around with building your tolerance up and, and seeing how you get on throughout the rest of the day um, so I find that combined with the earthing at the same time um, sometimes I'll even go even further I like to push things um, and listen to some affirmations with some solfagio frequencies in the background uh, you can find a lot of these online, whether it's through UR Creators um, on YouTube or Douchy Meditations. There's some very good ones out there. Um, yeah, so check them out and give it all a go because I guarantee you after 21 days of doing this, and even if you're going to fast, fasting at the moment is one of the best things you can do. Your body will totally regenerate itself. Um, don't worry about don't worry about it at all. I mean, you, your body works like a camel, so there's water stored in all of your fat cells and when a camel goes out to the desert it uses its hump water it uses its it's got storage you've got a storage a backup storage and your cells hold memories as well your cells listen so it's almost like rebuilding and coming out at the other end of a fast with a brand new you you feel like the strongest version of yourself because what gets used for energy first of all is the weakest cells so when the weakest cells have gone then you can start building newer cells by talking to your cells and affirming to new cells and rebuilding them and we're in a very powerful time at the moment virtually we're in a golden age again so um, it's almost like now is the time to rewrite your own world you can start 
I, as I said, I believe within the next couple of years I won't have to eat. I, I, I'll eat for pleasure. I do enjoy food, um, but it's not going to be a necessity for me because I'll be able to use other energy sources and you will see that happen within the next year. Um, if that's not your reality, then it doesn't have to be your reality, but if you'd like to join me on it, then I, 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 I'll help you along the way with it. If you'd, like that to, if you'd like to try that and you'd like that to be a possibility, then get in contact, write in the comments below. Um, it's going to be a bit of a short video today, so it's only six, seven minutes long. I hope you've enjoyed it and you're all having a wonderful day. The weather in the UK has been a little bit strange here. It's raining one minute and sunny the next minute, but I quite like it. Okay, enjoy the rest of your week and thanks for watching.